Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's Mind today. I know what fail safe means from an egress perspective. What does it mean on a fire door? That's another great question. Thanks for asking. Come on in and let's check it out. NFPA 80, the standard for fire doors and hardware, is what I'll be using to base my answers from. This is the 2016 edition. Other editions are similar as well. Always consult your state and local codes. The definition of a fail-safe device is a device that will provide its intended function upon loss of power. Typically for egress, when we talk about a lock, the outside handle, if it's fail safe, will be unlocked if there is no power. And fail secure is just the opposite. For egress purposes, a fail secure lock is locked on the outside and on loss of power, it remains locked. But unless we're talking about a specific mag lock that is only fail safe, board locks, mortise locks, and exit devices can have fail safe or fail secure trim while still providing free egress. That's a little bit different from a fire perspective. And so a couple of the places where they use this, one is chapter six, automatic closing doors. And a Rixon 998 hold or release device, for example, would meet these requirements. What this is saying is that a separate labeled fail safe door holder release device or a hold open mechanism that shall be permitted to be an integral part of the basic closing device. And so on fire alarm or loss of power, it will cut power to the magnetic hold open and the door will close. Fire doors are supposed to be closed at the time of fire. Another example comes from chapter six the latching requirements. Typically, a fire door must be positive latching, but latching arrangements that do not provide positive latching in the normal mode shall be permitted to be used provided that in a fire or other emergency, the door becomes positively latched by means of an automatic fail-safe device that is activated by an automatic fire detector. This exit device has electric latch retraction and it automatically pulls the bar and the latch into the retracted position. It is fail safe in that it requires power to stay in the retracted position. And if it's tied to the fire alarm, which it needs to be, or the fire detector system, then the door will become positively latched. For egress purposes, we can always get out, whether this device is, the latch is retracted or not. But the difference here is, now that we have positive latching, the outside trim on this exit device could potentially be locked, and that makes the door actually technically fail secure on the outside. So... It is confusing, it can be confusing, but when it talks about fail safe for fire, it's talking about what is the intended purpose. The intended purpose for the fire door is to be positively latched at the time of fire. There are other examples. These two are the most common when it comes to commercial doors and hardware. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking the link in the comments below. You can also click like and subscribe to this channel. You can connect with me on LinkedIn for updates or email katherine.flower at asabloy.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.